So guys, when you see me dressed like this, you definitely know which place I'm in. You're right, I'm at Lake Naivasha. So today, I'm taking you on a boat ride. Hope you enjoyed this safari with me, and I have a big surprise for you. Because today, we'll be walking through our life. For those who don't know me, I'm your host, Devo. Welcome to Lion Pride Adventures. Guys, you're starting our boat safari. Guys, down there we have the Grahera. So we just started our game, our uh, boat safari. I like my voice here. This one you said, which name was it? This is the white necked cormorant. The white necked cormorant is just straight ahead of us. Uh, the African jacana. Just over there. We have the African jacana over there, the yellow bill stalk. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, right, cool. And then there's the cattle egret also, the white one. Okay. We have the red dropped coots. Red dropped coots. What do you call? Red, red knobbed coots. Red knobbed coots. Yellowback Takesha are the ones which are dried up here due to global warming. That's why they've dried up. So the water level rose up and the trees died. That's why you're seeing them dried up. So we're now moving on with our boat safari, exploring this beautiful ecosystem of Lake Naivasha. Yeah. During the night, the they go out to feed. During the daytime, they left in the water. They're a bit aggressive, and that's why all the zoos are just keeping a bit of distance. A grown up people, a grown up people have a weight of returns and a lifespan of that to that five years. In one night, the hippo can eat about 60 to 70 kilograms of grass. They are truly vegetarian. Gestation period for a female hippo ranges from eight to nine months, according to the sex of the baby. If the baby is a male, it takes longer than a female. And that's why the mother cannot deliver a male baby in a group. She has to go away from the group and deliver away from the group so that she can be able to protect the young male not to be killed by the father. And a true name of our, you can call a group of hippo, you can call it a school of hippos, school, a school or a pool. Can you see that one? It's opening about just only school. Yeah, it's only now. You. Do you got Look it? Good, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's you are nice. quite lucky. Nice. Oh, that is Mark there, yeah, our guide here. Guide. Anytime you come to Lake Naivasha, please look for Mike. He'll be here to give you a proper tour yeah. of this lovely lake and ecosystem. Lovely. Nice one, nice one. So guys... That's just a one family. There's one family of people there. Okay. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful Lake Nekashi. Yeah, some more guests there coming in. Can you go for it? <laughs> people, people inside the water are hugging and saying, can we go here or not? <laughs> what? Is it okay? okay. <laughs> it's a lovely one. Yeah. So we decided again we're going close to the hippos. <laughs> Look at that. Check that photo. Look at that. Look at that. It's opening them up there. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look at that. Now you are good for the hats. Yeah. You see now? You got it? 
Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's a good one. That's a good one, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, man. Welcome. Now, moving on with the so safari. I'm here because of you. Moving on with the safari now. Your parent is still taking care of you. Look, look or not, it was a volcanic mountain. Uh -huh. but is a volcanic mountain. The reason is, this lake is the only fresh water lake in the whole of the Rift Valley region, but it doesn't have any flowing outlet that you can see on your own eyes. We have an underground outlet that connects up to the mountain and to the mountain loads. That's why for Mount Logonaut, we have a park called Hellgate Park. Yes. Where people should experience a lot of those things. As a result of the water from this lake and the mountain magma, which was taking place at Mount Logonaut. Okay. And that's one reason why about 60% of the electricity now used in Kenya, they are now generated down there at Orkari and Siodamo. Ah. Have you ever seen uh, the film Tomb Raiders by Algerina Jury? Yes, yes, yes. So, Algerina Jury, where you can see the Negojis, it was just down there because the whole movie of the out of um, um, Tomb Raiders, it was shot here and on the Hell's Gate. Really? So, the whole of it was just done here in Evasha. In Evasha. Let me, let me tell you. Okay. That's nice. Right again, right? Important, important, important yeah. fun facts there. So Mount Longonot is no longer volcanic, yeah? Longer volcanic. Okay. okay. So Lake Nakuru, Lake Elementaita, Lake Bogoria, the salty water lakes. Ah, that's nice, that's nice. This is the only remaining fresh water lakes. <laughs> so guys, we're moving on to the game with our boss of Harry. Hope you're getting some good infos about this lovely ecosystem. I enjoy myself. It is magical to be here. Gaeta's hotels alongside the rig. Like Naivasha Country Club, yeah, okay. Yeah, among the oldest hotels alongside the rig. And on top of the tree over there, we have the African fish eagle. Top of the on tree. top of the tree there, we have the Have African fish eagle. They are quite similar with the American bald eagles. Ah, okay. We spotted the African fish eagle in Nakul. Now we are spotting it in Naivasha also. Beautiful bird. It's on top of the tree, but we are going close by. Here is the African fish eagle. Mark, a quick one. The African fish eagle, is it, uh, do they mate for life or uh, no. they have multiple uh, multiple partners? They just for multiple partners. They don't mate for life. The only part of the here for life yes. is called the Egyptian goose. The Egyptian goose. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. All the three eagles just coming down for the fish. So I will throw the fish on that side. Okay. So Mark is going to throw the fish into the water right now. where the fish fell. Here we go. Now here we go. Here Look we at go. this. <laughs> Look at this. Has it spotted the fish? Yep. There's the fish eagle. There you go. Oh, he got the fish. He got it? Yeah. Yeah. The fish eagle do have a golden eye. That's why it can be able to zoom a fish from a far distance. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> that was awesome. There's more hippos straight ahead there, near the tree, popping up and down. The hippos are actually semi-cutting herbivores. There you are. It's coming up and down, up and down. See? Not boots. Ah, not boots. Not boots. Boots. Okay. Look at them. Uh -huh. Another hippo, bachelor hippo here. Ah, there's another solitary bachelor hippo there. Look at that. Hippo there. So we're actually approaching the Crescent Island. Well, I have a big surprise for you. We'll be able to walk with wildlife in this island. So the hippo there, can you see the back? There's one solitary. So guys, just take off your life jackets. 
just take off your life jackets. So we are going on land? You leave them here. So that uh, you can land to be able to walk. Work. You're very close with wall. So our walk at the Crescent Island just go better. Look at that. I mean close to the Jiro. It's there resting. That's my feet. And that's the Jiro. I'm having a stay with the Jiro. Look at that. It's only a Lake Naivasha, the Crescent Island, where you can get up close to the animals like this. Look at that. This is actually a juvenile Maasai giraffe, a female to be precise. It has two ossicles. The males will have three ossicles, two at the back and one at the front. So this one has two ossicles. It's a family being. It's a female giraffe. Let me show you what I mean when I tell you I'm walking with nature. Uh, everyone is coming here trying to get good games of it. And only at Land Pride Adventures will give you this magical experience. Uh, lovely. So guys, Crescent Island is just magnificent. It's just magnificent. I'm talking like this because I'm getting close to a zero. Look at that. Can you see? The Maasai giraffe just behind me. In this island, we are walking with the giraffes. Oh my God, we're walking with our life. Oh, let me, <laughs> I'm turning like this because look at that. The female is approaching. Let me take a good shot for you. That's the giraffe here. We're close to. Look at that. Look at that. It's a juvenile. Oh, there's another one on this side. Crescent Island is actually magnificent. Beautiful. Lovely. Walking with the giraffes. Actually, the giraffes are actually my favorite animals. That's why I'm walking with them. And on the front, we have the common zebras. Sorry, it's a bit windy, but uh, let's enjoy this moment. Beautiful and nice. Yeah. Beautiful, nice zebras there. These are actually the plain zebras. I'm trying to approach them right now. I'm going to hide behind this log so that I can get some good shots. Wow, it's just a magical experience. Guys, it's only at Lion Pride Adventures where we tell you we are the home for African safaris. This is what we mean. We enjoy ourselves. We enjoy ourselves. Beautiful. And get to get you. Now, guys, on this side, we have the water bags. The water bags are. There, the one with the horns is the male. The ones with the horns is the male. The ones without the horns are the females. Look at that. Enjoying this beautiful island. Some beautiful water bags there. That's the other group running. <laughs> beautiful and nice. So, guys, what you're having here is a baby zebra. It's about one week old. Look at her. 
Wie ist die Brecke? Das ist die Brecke. 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 Das ist Beautiful and nice. So guys. We're finishing our nature walk with these beautiful wild beasts. If you really liked and enjoyed this video, please give it a big like. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment. The zebras there are also saying goodbye. So right now we're getting back on our boat, continuing the boat safari, and we'll be dropped at the mainland. Beautiful. The hippos are next to the giraffe. Beautiful giraffe. Okay. You said that. Okay, we've got <laughs> enough pictures done. Look at that. <laughs> There's a hippo there. <laughs> Mark pulled a good stand for us. <laughs> to finishing the animals on the island. <laughs> I was trying to chase it away. See some more hippos. Some more hippos here. Lots of them. That's a good one. You see that one's the only? Yeah. So after having the nature walk with the animals. Yes. Finishing in the nature. <sighs> The nature walk was fine. Now we continue the boat ride back to the mainland. It was a lovely adventure. Beautiful. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the nature walk. Those are the left knob coots. Is this sitting on a book? No. Behind the tree. Behind the tree. Oh. That's a tree. That's a tree down there. Okay. It's a tree. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Take two of the eagles. Yeah, it's in the water. Both of them, the, both of them are coming, yeah? <laughs> both of them are coming close by. Now three of them. Three of them. Now one. this one is going to be coming down. You see? You see? They haven't spotted the fish? Yeah, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. Yeah. The fish. And then they fly away. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, sing thank you. Now the eagles is on because top of the tree. Let's go now because I have one more remaining. Let's go now on that side sure. so that they can fight. Okay. Oh, yeah, they will fight. Yeah, they can fight for the territory. For the territory. Now we're going on the other side. We try to see if we can be able to feed the fish eagles. Ah, you can't throw far. You want to throw it here. Yeah? No, 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 no. Right. Now this is take three feeding the African fish eagle. Fish is in the water. Very fast. Very fast is coming. Woo! Oh, scoop. Nice one. <laughs> Abel, Abel is now going back to the tree to enjoy his fish. Lovely. Guys, we're being dropped on the mainland. We are staying at the beautiful Enashipai Resort. So we're being dropped there. After finishing an epic boat safari. Here at Lake Naivasha. That was an epic boat safari here at Lake Naivasha. Yeah. Mark is here. He's the one who was a guide here. So in case you come to Lake Naivasha, please look at Mark. You want to check him out. That's nice. So guys, see you in the next one. Yeah.